Hi, Tim Lunkard here. In this video, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a math worksheet using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then we'll print it out. So let's start with the HTML. So I'm going to use Emmet here to get a simple framework. And let's um, call this adding and subtracting. Okay, we're going to bring in a style sheet. So we're going to link in this file style.css that I have. And at the bottom here, we'll link in a JavaScript sheet called script.js. Okay, so now we have to uh, create the HTML. So let's call this for h1, adding and subtracting worksheet. Okay, and then um, what we'll do is we'll create uh, three rows within a container. Let's have, let's wrap everything in a container here, actually. So let's do a container and let's just move this up, Take that out, move this in. And then within the container, let's have three rows. So we'll do three of those. And within each row, let's have three problems. So let's do three of those and do the same thing here. Okay. And do the same thing here. Okay. So that's our HTML. So if we look and we just refresh, that's all we've got so far. So let's work on the CSS. So first off, um, what I want is the container. Let's do a max width of 1200 pixels and a margin of zero auto. Okay, so let's go back here. That moves it in a little bit. All right, let's do the heading. Let's have a text align of, whoops, not that we want text line of center okay so refresh all right we've got the text align um let's see what do we need in each of the problems we probably need uh like heading for the problem number and a paragraph for the problem so let's do that Okay. All right. So we'll do a heading two plus a plus a paragraph, and we'll get each of those. And yeah. Okay. So I think that's good. All right. Let's save that. And what we should do with the the JavaScript is we should do a for loop. Um, so I'm going to say we have nine problems, right? So four. Let i equal zero, i is less than nine, and we'll increment i each time. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, let's see, what should we do? Well, we should create um, an h2. So let's call that problem heading. And let's set that equal to document dot uh, query selector all uh, h2 and then also have a problem paragraph and that's going to be document dot query selector all we'll do a paragraph here okay and um, after that let's see what do we need well we probably need to go through these. Actually, let's put this at position I, or at index I rather, and this at index I, okay? And what we're going to need to do is let's add some inner text to each of these. So let's just take the problem heading for now, and we'll uh, take the inner text, and we'll make the inner text, um, we'll do a template literal here. We'll say problem, and then We'll pass in i, we're going to start at zero. So we're passing i plus one. 
And let's just refresh this. And we see that we get all our problems here. Okay, so that's good. So we get our problem headings here. Okay, so that's that's good. We also need a few other variables in this for loop. Um, so we probably need like a, and actually I should be using let here. Let. Okay, let. Let's make sure everything still works. We refresh, and something happened. Maybe uh, let's let's take a look. Oh, problem heading has already been dis. Uh, oh yeah, we don't want to put the let there. Okay, refresh. Okay, we get that back. All right, good. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to uh, create some numbers. So let's say let's let num one equal math dot floor, and then we'll do math dot random. And that'll give us a random number between zero and one, um, but it'll bring it down to zero. So what we really want to do is let's make these numbers between zero and 100. And so to do that, we're going to do times 100. That'll give me a number between zero and 100, but it's going to bring it down because we have the math.floor. So what we have to do is then add one, okay? And let's duplicate that line and just change this to number two. So we're going to have two numbers. All right, and we want to do adding and subtracting. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to have uh, like a, a variable that chooses a number, so 0 or 1. So let problem, let's do problem type choice equal, I don't know if that's a great name, math.floor. We'll do a math.random, and we'll do uh, times two, and that'll give us a number either zero or one because we're using math.floor. So now what we'll say is, um, let's do an if, okay, uh, problem type choice. If that equals zero, let's do it adding. So what we're going to do is we're going to then have the problem paragraph. So let's do the problem paragraph. Uh, dot inner text that's going to equal we'll do a template literal here um, and what we'll do is uh, we'll just do num1 plus num2 equals and otherwise we'll do a problem paragraph dot inner text equals um, We'll do num1 minus uh, num2, okay? And we'll set it equals there. Okay, let's save that and see how this is coming. All right, so one thing I forgot is the dollar sign in front, so we have to do that. So let's just do that, okay? All right, now let's refresh. Okay, so now we've got our math problems. Um, what we want to do is do some styling to get this to look a little bit better. So let's go here and we'll focus on the row. So we'll say row and the width of the row will be 100%. Um, display will be flex and we'll justify content. We'll Oh, not justify self, justify, if I can type, content, uh, and we'll do space evenly. Okay, and I'm going to save that, and now refresh, and now we've got our problems the way we want them for the most part. We do need some, probably some padding in between, uh, or some margin in between, so let's do a margin bottom of 50 pixels here to give some room. See how that looks. That looks a little bit better. Let's do, actually, let's do 100. Okay, and we'll refresh. And there we go. We've got our style pretty well done. Um, what we can do is also have the solutions 
at the bottom. So let's come up and go to our HTML. We'll add something here. Um, we'll add an H3. We'll say solutions. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have an unordered list with um, nine list items like that. Okay, and that'll be our solutions for each of these problems. And what we should do is probably go back to our JavaScript and make some functions that we can call that are, are adding and subtracting functions. So let's say const add equals do uh, num1, num2, and we will return num1 plus num2. Okay, I'm going to now just copy this, and instead of add, we'll do subtract, and we'll just change this to a minus here. Okay, so uh, now what we need to do also when we go through this is um, create another thing. Let's call it solution list item. And that's going to be a document dot query selector all. We're going to select the list item here at I. And whoops, Let's get that correct. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that, um, so if, if we run this, the addition, we'll say that, um, let's see, solution list item dot inner text equals, we'll do a template literal and we'll pass in this adding function with num1 and num2. And I'm going to copy this and bring it down here. And let's see, uh, we're going to change this to subtract. Okay. And let's save this and now refresh. And we've got our solution. So 88 plus 50 is 138. That's correct. 21 minus 75 is negative 54. So we have our solutions down here. Now I'd like the solutions to kind of stay on the same page. So let's go back to our style and we'll go to an order list and we'll style it with a display of flex. Um, let's justify content space evenly and refresh. And we've got the solutions right here on the bottom. And one more thing with our H3, let's move that up here and we'll give that a text a line of center as well and what we're going to do to get it to print like this as a pdf is we're actually going to take our style here okay i'm just going to copy it and we're going to make sure it goes in here and it doesn't get overridden by the browser style so typically you shouldn't do this on a website but for building a worksheet this is how i'm going to do it uh, let me do something, uh, control alt shift F just to, uh, beautify it a little bit. Okay. That looks nice and good for our structure. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is let's refresh. Everything stays the same numbers change, obviously, but, uh, what I can do now is I can, um, take this and go to print and go to save as PDF. And I wanna go to more settings because I have these headings here. And what I wanna do is just uh, take away the headers and footers. And now I've got a math worksheet with solutions that is formatted nicely. I'll click save and we'll go to adding and subtracting. Let's go here to the downloads and Let's uh, open this up. And we've got our PDF created from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I will leave the code or link to the code in the, a GitHub repository in the link below in case any math teachers want to modify this for their own needs. I want to thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing as it really does help the channel grow.